Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and I am back with another video in my crafty must-have series. Today I'm going to be telling you about adhesives that I couldn't craft without. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and maybe ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. In my last video, I shared with you my favorite cutting tools. If you missed that video or want to watch it again, I will have my crafty must-haves playlist linked in the description box below. Today's video is dedicated to all things sticky. I will be sharing with you my favorite crafting adhesives that I find are the best deal for the money. And maybe I'll have a splurge or two at the end. If you're interested in finding out any more about the products or tools that I share today, I do have some links in the description box. Now, a lot of these links will be affiliate links, which means I get a small portion of the sale if you use those links, but it doesn't cost you anything extra. I also understand shopping local and finding the best deal that you can. So even if you don't make any purchases from my video today using those links, I would appreciate in the future if you're ever going to do a little crafty online shopping that you might consider using my links. I always have those in the description box of my video. Are you ready to see what sticks with me? My first adhesive must have is my Scotch ATG. This is an oversized tape runner that I have done the math, believe me, I won't bore you with it, but it costs a fraction of what some of the other popular brands cost. Now granted, you do have to purchase the tape glider itself and then buy the refills, but if you look at your local big box stores or maybe your local scrapbook store, you can probably get this from $20 to $40. So I think it pays for itself in no time. And not to mention the amount of adhesive on each roll, you have to change this out a lot less. Now right now as I'm doing the video, I can't remember how long each roll is, but I will pop it up on the screen here so you can see. So you change it out less, which means less downtime when you're getting crafty, especially like me when I like to mass produce cards. If I use the little tape runners, I would be switching those out or throwing them away all the time. Speaking of throwing them away, one thing I like about this is that when you're done with the adhesive, you can recycle this plastic part and you just have some of that tape backing to throw away. I like that it's less waste. Some of the tape gliders I did research on before I did this video, they actually don't even have refills possible. So you're throwing away a whole cartridge in the trash every time. So in front of me, you do see two different rolls of adhesive. This one on the left is the official Scotch ATG. You know it's going to be safe, acid-free, um, but it's more expensive. I buy my refills on tapejungle.com. I am not affiliated with them, but I have found in the past that they are, I don't want to say super cheap, but they're super economical. And I figured out that per inch on this cost me $0.001, not even a penny. Now to get that price, you do have to buy quite a few. But what I do is I usually go in with my mom and my sister and we buy 144 rolls at a time. Now, just to see how long that lasts, the last time I bought adhesive with them, I lived in a different state over six years ago. We just recently rebought that 144 and I just opened it up last week. So these last super long and you know how much crafting I do. One of the things you might not like about the ATG is definitely bigger than a regular tape runner. But I think it looks heavier than it is and I guess I'm probably also used to it. But my mom also uses it and loves it. I think that once you get used to this, it's good. 
Another thing that's hard to get used to is changing out the rolls. I'm sure there are some videos here on YouTube that show you how to do it. But again, once you get the hang of it, it's changed out in no time. I can change it out now in about 30 seconds. But when I started, it was probably five minutes just to get used to it. It would not be a Call Me Crafty Owl video if I did not pop in with my big blue rolls of foam tape. I buy these on Amazon and I believe it's actually called window glazing. So this might not be something you wanna use in scrapbooks. I don't know how acid free it is, but for me and my card making, again, the best deal I can find. While you might think that the price of the roll is a little pricey, it lasts forever. Like this thin one is a quarter inch. It actually came the same size as this background one. And I've been using this one for probably at least a year. I did recently purchase a couple other widths. So I have the quarter inch, I have a three quarter inch, and then a three eighths of an inch. That way I have lots of different sizes. I used to only get the quarter inch because I love to make shaker cards with it. But then I was finding that I wanted a little bit of dimension on my other cards and I thought it was kind of a waste to use all my skinny stuff and that's why I bought those wider widths. Another thing I love about this is how thin it is. This is pretty comparable to the depth of a Stampin' Up! dimensional. So it doesn't add so much pop that your card is like that thick. I have tried other rolls of adhesive from Amazon before to see if they would work out, but one of the things I found was it was impossible to cut. I would put my nonstick scissors that I shared with you in yesterday's video that I love, and it would gum that up like you wouldn't believe. Also, the sides of those rolls were super sticky, whereas you can see here, I am touching the side of these rolls and my fingers don't stick to it. So that's also a really good thing for shaker cards. You're not having your glitter or your sequins sticking to the side of your foam. And another thing I found with those foam rolls was it was almost impossible to get the backing off. Now, 95% of the time with this, it is easy to pull off as long as you burnish that after you put it on your card. Every once in a while, I have some backing that's a little extra hard to get off, but definitely, again, the benefits outweigh those negatives. My next favorite is my Scotch Blue Removable Tape. Now it's not blue tape, but I call it blue removable tape because the packaging is blue here. Now I have had this again for years. I swear I say that with everything, but I really have. I like to buy stuff that I can use over and over again and get the most out of. They no longer make the tape in this dispenser. The link in the description box below will take you to like the refill boxes. So you would need to get some kind of dispenser, but honestly that might be kind of handy to have it in a dispenser and out on your desk. I know that once this runs out, that's exactly what I'm going to do. It's strong enough to like hold dies in place while you're die cutting, but when you pull it up, it does not ruin the paper in any way. I have found sometimes with like purple tape or with washi tape, it will tear off the top layer of cardstock or pattern paper. Another great thing about this is it is reusable. When I get out a couple pieces to use for die cutting, once I'm done, I just set those pieces on the side of my desk and I keep reusing those until they don't stick anymore. And some of them are looking pretty bad right now, but you know what? They're still working. I have also been known to use this to hold stencils in place while I'm stenciling. Now, usually after that, you might have to get rid of the pieces you use because they'll have some ink on them and you wouldn't want that to transfer to your next project. But if you find the ink is not coming off, you could again just reuse that. And finally, I think the last way I use this is if I have like a cluster of embellishments and I get it laid out and want it to stick where I want it or stay right there so I can put adhesive on the back, you can take a piece of this Put it across the front and keep all those pieces together and then flip them over to put adhesive on. 
And then once you have that adhesive on the back, you can just pull that removable tape right off the front. Another sticky item that I just love are mini glue dots. Now I have glue dots in lots of different sizes, but I love these mini ones for things like sequins or half pearls that don't already have adhesive on the back. There are different brands that make about this same size. I will tell you I probably prefer the Real Glue Dots brand because these all have like a piece of plastic over each glue dot when it comes out of the dispenser and that's just something else you have to throw away or have stick to your feet and drag across your house later but these work great for those little items and finally for my non splurgy item is art glitter glue I resisted using liquid glue for the longest time, you know, because I love my ATG, I love my glue dots, I love my foam tape, but I asked for this for Christmas last year and I got the small bottle with the fine tip point and I got a large refill bottle. I have yet to have to add any to this and I've been using it for a year. I love that it dries completely clear. When you're putting something down, it gives you a little bit of wiggle time to get it in place. And because of that fine point, you can add glue to the skinniest die cuts and make them stick nicely. Now you do notice on the top of mine that I have this glue bottle charm stuck in there. You do get a pin that goes with this. I think it has a black ball on the top. But honestly, I would have lost that. Let's see, I got this for Christmas last year. I would have lost that by December 26th last year. This has really saved me that even when I'm in the middle of something crafty, I always find this so that I can put it back in my glue and it doesn't dry out. Now this I purchased from a fellow crafty YouTuber, Debbie, and it's super affordable and worth its weight in gold. I will link her channel and the video that I purchased it from in the description box below. And finally, I have kind of a splurgy item that has to do with adhesive. It is a Xyron. It's not here in front of me because it's too big for my little desk area, but it is a Xyron that puts adhesive on items up to eight and a half inches wide. And sometimes when I'm really crafting or like when I do my wood plank flooring, that thing saves the day. It just allows me to put that solid piece of adhesive on the back of a larger size piece of cardstock. Now I also do love all my other size Xyrons. The little X, which I think is one and a half inch wide, is great for little die cuts. And I also have one that does up to I think five inches wide. I love them all. But it's definitely something you don't have to have. But it's something to consider in the future if you're looking to kind of branch out and try different things or maybe you have a holiday or a special occasion coming up that somebody wants to know what you might like to try. On screen now is a look at the Xyron that I have, the 850. Unfortunately, this one is not produced anymore because once again, I've had mine for probably 15 years, but I did find the updated version online. And here's a look at it. This is the Xyron Creative Station, and it looks like this takes nine inch and five inch cartridges. I will link the Amazon item below, but it looks like right now it's sold out. So I also will link a couple other places I was able to find it at. I hope you enjoyed seeing and hearing about my favorite crafty adhesives. Let me know in the description box below what adhesive item you couldn't craft without. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.